Um, hey, can I help you? Baby, huh? <laughs> That's a cute nickname for me. What was it yesterday? Adonis, Casanova, winner of all sexy times? <laughs> hmm? You want me to lean down so you can tell me I'm all soft? Of course! Anything for you, love? Hey. Is that guy staring daggers at me right now bothering you? Do you know him? Alright, sweetheart. Don't worry. I got you. Need a ride home or someone to walk with you? Walk there, huh? Me too. Alright then. Go on. Take my arm. There you go. Come on. You doing okay, sweetheart? Nah. I wouldn't be surprised if you weren't. Situations like that are terrifying. But you did the right thing. Running into someone else or the bartender to throw him off is a good, solid tactic. I've taught it for years. What do I do for a living? <laughs> You're not gonna believe it. I see you eyeing up the leather pants and big old biker boots, and is that a, a bit of intrigue at my unkempt shaggy mane? Or is it because I fucked up my eyeliner a little? So, feel free to laugh. <laughs> fine, fine. I'm a safety instructor. I teach self-defense techniques and generally try to confuse old folks. How, you may ask? By dressing as goth as possible, but then doing things like coaching soccer, refurbishing houses, and best one, making THE best summer cookout brisket. <laughs> yeah, my profession is why I realized what you needed so quickly. Eh, no need to be that grateful. I'm getting to pretend to be your boyfriend for however long this walk lasts. Oh, you think I'm smooth, huh? Well, I suppose statistically, at least one person has to. <laughs> so how about you? What'd you occupy your days with? Oof. Someone likes challenging work too, huh? Well, I respect it. There's something about having to fight a little bit every day, right? I try not to admit that. I sort of hope some of these people will pick a fight with me, so I can play the hero. Just a little. Kinda pathetic, huh? Nah, I don't really care about how I look. I just want to remind them that they can, in fact, be laid out if they want to fuck around and find out. Once had a lady that was, for lack of a more polite term, that shit insane. She wanted to get her ex-boyfriend more than a swarm of locusts wants to get some tasty cornstalk. I mean, she was swinging a nail file. Stab me right in the fucking hip. Oh yeah, it definitely hurt. Totally worth it though. Towering over her and looking unimpressed apparently knocked some sense in her. Never want to punch a lady, or anyone really, but I had to crack my knuckles and do a little bit of mean mugging. Ma'am, you need to leave this donut chain and get psychiatric help, basically. Don't know if she got that help. Sure hope so. That poor man was fucking terrified. Well, yeah, no kidding. I'm probably going to just straight up get shot one of these days. Or stab in the kidney. A lot of people out here decide that anyone in their way is just coffin fodder. Still, I don't think I could walk away. Being in crisis like that, you need someone willing to step in. Otherwise, it's easy to panic and give them control. People like... that guy, yeah. So, how long was that guy following you? Ugh, gross. 
you should probably file a police report. Assholes tend to not take stalking seriously. So, at least you'll have it on file. Should put up some security cameras as well, if you can spring for them. Or, I could sleep over, true. You're a bold one, you know that, right? I don't get a lot of ladies brave enough to just flirt with me. Or guys. Hell, sometimes the guys are a thousand times more nervous. <laughs> Have a soft spot for the big protective sword, huh? Hell, why not? Hi, I'm James. Nice to meet you. So, uh, you want to have a wedding or a formal one? <laughs> no, please. You are so an autumn wedding sword. But whatever wifey wants, wifey shall receive. Sure, we can get a dog. So long it's from a shelter, not a puppy mill. Ah, yes, and a cat companion! Of course! What do we do about honeymoon? Ah, wonderful choice. You have great taste, my insanely hot fiance. But. Can I wear a steampunk tuxedo? Hell yeah, you can wear a funeral dress. Mini taco bar? Oh yeah, from Miguel's, obviously. So, what's our special song? That's my favorite song. I mean, I'm sure it's a coincidence. I it's a really popular song for Ben with eight followers on a social media to plays in local bars. <laughs> Before you ask, no, I'm not also stalking you. And I'm pretty sure you're not stalking me. <laughs> eh, could you imagine? Maybe like that pointing meme. Oh god, you're a meme lord too. <laughs> oh, jeez. Did we just become soulmates of some nonsense? Hey, I already propose. What, do you just want to ask me out? Yes, huh? <laughs> alright, alright, I'm game. You're a spitfire, huh? That guy got lucky that you were on the smarter, less violent side. But you could have laid his ass out. He had a knife. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna hang with you tonight. You feel safe having some buff stranger in your house anyway? Damn! You mind less because I'm hot. You mean to tell me you would have let that guy shib you if he was hotter? <laughs> Goodness, you are a wild one. Do me a favor though, okay? Make sure you let some friends and family know I'm here. Take a picture of me if you feel it help. I want to make sure other people know that I'm here. And that I'm not going to do anything to hurt you. That and I'll act as a witness when you file the report, okay? Hey, I am, if anything, not a crew. Oh, is this your building? Alright, come on. Huh, this place is... Only moderately run down. Very nice. Nice place. Oops, is that Black Void staring at me, or is that a particularly fat black cat? Oh, hey, buddy. Come here. Ooh, grumpy little biter, huh? Seems friendly to me. Don't take it personally. I volunteer with animals sometimes, and I think I have an aura around me that draws them in. Isn't that right, buddy? Yeah, give me that muffin head. Oh, you have a little muffin head, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> All cats have a little bit of an asshole to their personality. Don't worry. It's one in the morning. I'll hang out on the couch, and I'll go down with you to the station to file a report. You got a spare blanket? Thank you, new friend. 
I'll try not to snore too loudly. Do I think it's weird that we're acting this close after just meeting? Eh, no, nah, not really. I don't know why, but I feel comfortable with you. Same, huh? Well, that's good. Get some rest, Spitfire. I'll see you in the later morning. <laughs> Well, this is weird. <sighs> I'll figure it out in the morning. And as for you, Kitty, I guess you'll be sticking with me for the night. Come on. Let's get some rest. <laughs>